I sadly am going to play for you today some of the scariest audio and video that we've had on the show for for a while. We have seen people show up at school boards or city council meetings recently and call for the killing of uh, gay people, of LGBT people. Today, I'm going to play for you a clip of a candidate calling for the killing of the parents of LGBT kids. This is candidate Mark Burns. It might not shock you that Mark Burns is a Trumpist. He loves Trump. He's pro Trump. He is running in the fourth district in South Carolina, and he called for the arrest and execution of those who advocate for LGBT rights and the protection of trans children. This was during an appearance on the Stu Peters show, and he talked about um, uh, that he is committed to voting for transphobic laws which will target LGBT kids and their parents. And then he went further than saying he will just vote for the legislation. He says he wants those parents held for child abuse and put to death if they are convicted. Take a look at this. This this is extraordinarily dangerous. The LGBT transgender grooming our children's minds is a national security threat. Now, by the way, I hate to already interrupt. They you when Republicans and right wingers get a new shiny toy. In this case, it's the word grooming. They use it all the time. Grooming has a very specific meaning uh, in the context of child abuse and, um, you know, saying to your kids, I love you no matter who you are. It's not really grooming. It's actually not at all grooming, but they're just using the word. They're on the word because it is ultimately designed to destabilize the republic we call the United States of America. That's why when I'm elected, I don't want to just vote. I want to start holding people accountable for treason to the Constitution. I am going to push to reenact HUAC. HUAC is the House of Un-American Activities Committee. It was a real committee that was formulated back in the 50s and is a, a committee that we should reenact that starts holding these people accountable for treason. We need to hold people for treason, start having some public hearings and start executing people who are found guilty for their treasonous acts against the Constitution of the United States of America. Just Do you understand how insane that is? Who act? So first of all, I mean, it putting to death the parents of LGBT kids, it, it's dangerously off the rails. But there's another aspect to this. When we talk about HUAC, the House Committee on Un-American Activities, we're talking about McCarthyism. We're talking about a committee that looks at whether Americans have been disloyal, don't have to have committed any crime. It's just a do you think the wrong things which we have tagged as being a lack of loyalty to the United States? extraordinarily dangerous candidate. Now, does this guy have a shot at winning? Well, we, we'll have to wait and see. Would it be a shock to me if this guy actually ended up getting arrested for, you know, domestic violence, child porn, whatever? I'm not saying I have any evidence of that, but no, oftentimes the, the loudest people who say, let me one up even you. It's not enough just to say I'm going to vote. I will demand the killing. Sometimes when people go overboard like that, it's because they have things to hide. We don't know that to be the case with this guy, but that's something that we've seen. But we seem to live in a world where people can freely express their desire for large swaths of people to be killed. Now, I get it. He's not personally threatening to kill anybody. This is not the type of thing where you would say, well, what, you know, we're from the police and we need to talk to you. But the reaction is, well, yeah, I mean, just if you don't like that, don't vote for him as if this counts as anything even remotely approximating valid political discourse. Uh, I it's it's a it's it's increasingly dangerous, not only that people are saying these things, but they they aren't instantly disqualifying. And we go back to 2016, 2015, Trump and the Access Hollywood tape and the entire thing. At a certain point in American political history, the Access Hollywood grab him by the you know what tape would have been a disqualifier. That would have been it. Just no, you, you're, you're done. You resign immediately and that's it. It's over. And there is almost nothing 
that they can't try to explain away at this point in time. Now, this guy is pro Trump. Trump hasn't endorsed him, so it's not a situation where Trump would pull his endorsement or anything like that. But it's considered just like, oh, yeah, well, no, I'm against killing the people, the parents of LGBT kids, so I'm not going to vote for him. This should be immediately disqualifying. And it's not in modern American politics.